now you may get uh, such thing wherein you have to register your MFA for root credentials. If you get uh, this uh, message, uh, just follow these steps. Okay. Just add the device name, any name that you want to, that you wish to add. Let's say I will add it as my device. And here select the authenticator app. Okay. So this is the app that you can download in your phone. Just select this authenticator app, click on next. And this will show you to uh, first install a application in your phone. Okay, so in your phone, uh, search for, uh, just go to your Play Store or App Store and search for Google Authenticator. So this is the authenticator that you will find on the Play Store or App Store. You can either use Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator, whichever you are uh, you're comfortable with. And once you install it, the Authenticator will look like this after you have installed it. So uh, it will ask you to add. You just have to click on this add button and add the mail ID which you are using for AWS account. So let's say for example, I'm using this hiking fan at the gmail.com. This is the mail ID I'm using for my AWS account. You have to just register this mail ID. And after that, uh, what you can do, oh sorry, before that, what you have to do is just click on add button. It will ask you to scan the QR code. Once you do that, just show this QR code, scan this QR code in that phone. After you scan it, this will appear automatically. You don't have to log in with your mail ID, with your AWS uh, mail ID. That will appear automatically here. And it will generate a code every 30 seconds. So let's say it has generated as 992.785 for the first 30 seconds. Just add that 992 and uh, 785 for the first time and enter the second code. So what I will do is I will just use my authenticator from my phone and I will add that the two, two codes. Okay, after 30 seconds, this code will change. Okay, so this will generate another code and add that code, next code over here. So I'll just do it in from my phone. I have opened my uh, authenticator application. So I will just click on, I will, what I will do, I'll just click on this add button and click on scan QR code. After that, what I will do is I'll scan this code from my phone. And it will uh, it will generate a Amazon Web Service my device at the rate something. Okay, it will give me that name. And here I can see I have a code which is 594939. I have entered that. And I will wait for 30 seconds and it will generate another code. So the next code is 551899. That is the next code. And I will click on register MFA. So that will uh, register a MFA with my phone. So next time when I'm trying to sign into the console. So let me log in, uh, log out first. I will just click on sign out. And I will try to log in again. So next time when I'm trying to log into my AWS account, I have to enter my username, password, and the code which is generated in my Google Authenticator application on my phone. Okay, so these are the three things that we need to provide to log in to our AWS account. So let's I'll click on sign in using root email password. I'll add my email ID, my password. And after that, it will ask me the MFA code. So that, that code will be there available in my phone. I have to check my phone, open the Google Authenticator application and just enter the code and click on submit. After that, I will be able to sign into my AWS account. Okay. So this is how you can uh, register the MFA uh, multi-factor authentication on your AWS account. So if you have created a new account, you will get a prompt that you have to set up a multi-factor authenticator app. Once you have done it, so this is how you can do it. Okay, so you have to just uh, install Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator. Click on this plus symbol and scan the code that has been generated. And after that, you are good to go. All right, then. Thank you. Thank you very much.